Hello there, and welcome to my SAT math video guide. My name is Mr. Teacher, and I will be going over math problems from the official SAT study guide, 2nd edition, also known as the Big Blue Book. I will be doing this video guide to help students who are having trouble with the math. So today we will be starting with test number one from the beginning. T we're going to do test number one and sec the math section starts from section three, which is on page 396. We will be going over each of the problems step by step, and I hope that this helps you with your math preparation. So let's get started. Number one. If x equals to four, then which of the following is greatest in value? And the choices are A, x plus one, times x plus 2, b is x plus 1 times x minus 1, c is x minus 2 times x plus 2, d is x minus 2 and x plus 1 and Finally, E is x minus 4 times x plus 4. Now, we need to find out which of the following choices is greater than each of the rest. So, first things first, you can eliminate every single choice that ends up to be x if it's, for instance, B x plus 1 and x minus 1 so it'll be 4 plus 1 and 4 minus 1 so it'll be 5 times 3 which is 15 so from experience I could tell you that any single equation that has a mi minus sign in these set of choices will be le least, it will be lower than any other choice. So we can cancel out B right there because there's a negative. C is the same thing. It's also negative. D, the, there's plus 1 and minus 2, so it's like X minus 1. So that's cut off. And E, well, if you subtract 4 from 4, you end up with 0. So E is going to always end up as 0. So that is also wrong. So our correct answer is A, and you can double check this by solving it. So 4 plus 1 times 4 plus 2, so it's 5 times 6, which is 30, which is greater than any other choice in this problem. So let's move on. Let's go... To number two. Okay, word problem. Trains A, B, and C pass through a station at different speeds. Train A's speed was three times train B's speed, and train C's speed was twice train A's. What was train C's speed? in miles per hour if train B's speed was 7 miles per hour. So let's write this out as seeing it is a word problem and when you write things out it's usually easier. So the speed of train A equals to the speed three times the speed of train B and the speed of train C equals to two times the speed of train A. Or if you want to elaborate, 6B because it's two times 3B, so it's 6B. So the speed of train B equals to seven. So let's plug this in to this equation. 
So A equals to 3 times 7, which is equal to 21. So the speed of train A is 21 miles per hour. So we need to find the speed of train C. Therefore, we plug this in into this equation. So C equals to 2 times 21. So the speed of train C equals to 42, which is choice E. Let's keep going. Number three. If the average of x, 5x, and 6x is 8, then what is the value of x? So what is average? It's the sum of a certain amount of numbers divided by the number, the amount of numbers. So the sum is x plus 5x plus 6x. And there's three terms, so we divide it by 3. This is the average, and the average equals to 8. So what we need to do is to solve for x. So let's remove the 3 by multiplying 3 to each side. So we get x plus 5x plus 6x equals to 24. We simplify the left side, and we get 6 plus 12x equals to 24. Then we divide both sides by 12x equals to 24 over 12, which equals to 2. That's choice B. Moving on. We are now on number 4. So... No two points on the graph have the same x-coordinate. Which of the following graphs has the property stated above? So here, let's create a little key so we can keep track of where we are. Let's say blue is A, green is B, pink is C, orange is D, and yellow is E. Now let's quickly draw our master graph, somewhat like this. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So which of the following does, like, no two points on the graph have the same x-coordinates, so which choice accomplishes its graph with this property. So A looks like this. Right angle, right angle. So are any twos the same over here? Well, yes, here's one over here. That's the same x value as this point over here. Same thing with this one. This is the same as this one. So we can cross that one out. Now let's try B. B looks like this. Somewhat. So are any two x values the same within two points? Yes. Uh, in this line segment, this point has the same x value as this point. So we can cross this one out too. So, oops. Okay, so we crossed out A and we cross out B. Now let's try C. C looks like sort of like a Z. Are any two points the same? Well, yes. If we draw an imaginary line like this, we'll see that this point has the same x value as this point. So we can cross C out as well. Now let's try D. D looks like a tick mark. 
do any two points have the same x value? Well, no, because it, they no two points have the same x value. It just goes on and doesn't loop back, but it, the line keeps on going. So D looks like our choice. And finally, E, which I'll, looks sort of like this, that definitely doesn't all has a lot of points that have the same x value so we can cross that off so our only answer left is d thank you for watching i hope this video helped you with your math and i will continue the rest of the section in the next video thanks for watching